In this clip I will give you an idea how to calculate or estimate the slope of the red solid line which is the tangent line to the function to the graph of the function fx is x squared in a point one one. Well we do this as an estimation as a first estimate we can calculate the slope of the yellow dashed line. Well the slope of the yellow dashed line is no more than the change observed from going from point one one to point four sixteen. So this line measures the change in y value relative to the change in x value, which is f4 minus f1 divided by 4 minus 1, which equals 16 minus 1 divided by 3 equals 5. Well, this is a pretty rough estimate, so we can decrease, could decrease the step size. So instead of going from 1 to 4 and using this, this approach, we can go from 1 to 3 measure the relative the change in y value relative to the change in x value which will give the slope of the green dashed line so the slope of the green dashed line is delta y divided by delta x which is now defined by f3 minus f1 divided by 3 minus 1 so which equals 9 minus 1 is 8 over 2 which equals 4 in a similar fashion, we can calculate the change from going from 1 to 2, 1, 1 to 2, 4. So this would represent the slope of the red dashed line. So this is the slope of the red dashed line is f2 minus f1 divided by 2 minus 1 equals 3. So now we may ask ourselves, what does this give if we decrease, keep decreasing the step size delta x so if we let delta x go to zero what happens with the relative change in y value of the change in y value relative to the change in x value well this change is given by f1 plus the step size delta x minus f1 this is a change in y value relative to the change in x value which is delta x So if this, so we propose a limiting procedure. So what happens if delta x goes to zero? Can we calculate the limit of delta x goes to zero of delta y divided by delta x? Well, if this limit exists, then this will be called the derivative of the function in x equals one. Yeah, so this will be the limiting slope or the slope of the solid red line yeah, so in, in a sense is this this is a limiting slope well this limit can be rep represented a little bit differently so the delta x may, is, is usually also written as h in the textbook and then we'll we'll look have, have a look at the limit for h goes to zero of f1 plus h minus f1 divided by h Similarly, if, if this limit exists, then if we write x for 1 plus h, and we, do, we just try to reformulate this limit. So if we write x equals 1 plus h, then we see that in the argument f1 plus h is replaced by fx and h is replaced by x minus 1. So if h goes to 0, this means automatically that x, x goes to 1. So the limit of h to 0 is comparable with the limit of x goes to 1. Of f x minus f1 divided by h, but h is x minus 1. So this is actually the same limit, but it has a, a different formulation.